Okay, come with me and let's look at the garden in August. Well, it was so cold yesterday. We didn't water, but today is hotter. Plants are looking a little bit droopy. I'll have to water later. Got this squash plant here. I tell you, it's pumped out so many of these yellow scallop squash. It's in gigantic ones because they get hidden. And looks like it's still popping them out. That's probably the size you're supposed to eat them. But they're still good when they're gigantic. This plant has grown so big, and I say it's the best year we've ever had for this sunburst squash. And uh, delicato squash, or whatever you call it, it's there's another one, you can see it down there hiding away. We've gotten more than we have in previous years. Usually we've only gotten about two. The eggplant looks a little bit wimpy, but it's putting some out. The slugs are just about caught that one. Or this one, one of them at least about caught. There's one. Not too bad for growing in pots. And the zucchini is way over there, and I don't feel like walking over there. It's just a little bit of a jungle. And the beans. Well, yellow flowers. I don't remember seeing yellow flowers on beans before. These are rather slow. And, well, that one's got white flowers. But they kind of look like a bush bean and a pole bean, same kind of seeds. I don't know what's up with that, whoops. We won't try and um, do that one. And there are the lemon, I think they're called lemon boy cucumbers. I could be wrong, but they grow like little balls, soccer balls, not soccer balls. Um, I mean tennis balls. Not so much I know about sports. <laughs> well, a little bit more, but I'm not. I never have been too athletic. And there, I tell you, is the Vietnamese coriander the first year we've ever grown that and it just loves it here I mean try and grow any regular cilantro and it would never do much but this stuff it tastes better in my opinion and we get tons of it Well, this is probably our second batch of Swiss chard. And we got some weeds growing here. And the chives, they're going crazy, but that's the best we've ever had chives. And we still have some peas, and the beans probably need to be picked the blueberries. Well, there's actually a blueberry on there. And that definitely needs to be watered. The tomato plants. Unfortunately, we bought two cherry tomato plants. We usually don't do that. We usually don't even grow cherry tomatoes. But we're putting them out. And the big tomatoes 
We actually had our first red tomato yesterday. And we've got tomatillos. We accidentally bought two plants of tomatillos. And we will have way more tomatillos than we do tomatoes. Now, these tomatoes are growing a bit strange. And there's the yellow squash. Where? Get that in the camera. It's, hmm. Well, it's growing in a container for one thing. But it's put out maybe three or four other ones. And the kale, what can I say? That is Russian red kale. First year we've ever grown that. Just from a set, we've got all this kale. And there's some of that dinosaur type kale that's been growing since last year. And we've got herbs. Rosemary and lemon balm. And the winter savory. And you can either say barrage or borge. Here's cucumbers that look like tennis balls. And then we go up to uh, these things, which I forget the name. And they look like little watermelons. They're kind of cute. The weather has definitely been different this year. We've had record-breaking temperatures up to a close to 100, and then other days it would feel like fall. Yesterday it was quite chilly, but today it's very warm again. So there we go for now. Bye.